In this video, we are going to discuss intersection of loci. A playground is in the shape of a triangle ABC in which angle A is 50 degree, line AB has 70 meter length and line BC is 80 meter. Using a scale of 1 centimeter to represent 10 meter, make an accurate scale drawing of the playground. So let's draw line AB first which is 70 meter and according to this scale it will be 7 centimeter long line. Angle A is B, angle BAC is 50 degree so let's draw this angle first. Angle will be at point A, it will be 50 degree. Put your protractor on the line AB and now mark the angle 50. So this is 0 angle here, 0 and 50 is angle here, so I will mark angle here 50. Now I will join the point A and the, this mark which represent angle 50. This is angle 50. So this angle is B, A and C will be somewhere on this line. So we, we don't know exactly where the C will be on this line. And the line B, C is 80 centimeter and according to this scale it will be 8 centimeter line. B, C is 8 centimeter. Now we will open the compass 8 centimeter wide. And then we'll put it on B. And then we draw an arc. So this arc is 8 centimeter from the point B. Therefore, this arc, which is 8 centimeter from point B, it cuts the line this at this point. So this intersecting point is point C. Now we will join this point with this point B. This will give us a triangle. So BC is 8 centimeter. Now we have drawn the accurate scale drawing of the playground. The playground is look like a triangle. Next, a seesaw S in the playground is 55 meter from A and equidistant from point B and C. According to scale, 55 meter will be 5.5 centimeter. So CSA S will be on in the playground, it will be 5.5 centimeter from point A. So a distance which is which is from one point is a circle. So we will have we will draw a circle at A whose radius will be 5.5 centimeter. We will open the compass 5 by 5 centimeter and then draw a circle which has radius 5.5 and the center is A. And this C sub S is also equidistant from B and C. And you know from the basic of loci that a dist equidistant from B and C from two points, it is perpendicular bisector. Now we will draw a perpendicular bisector of line B, B, C. This is line B, C. And we will draw a perpendicular bisector of this line. To draw a perpendicular bisector of a line, we have to open the compass more than half of that line. So we will open the compass more than half of the line BC. So it is, no, I have opened it more than half of the line BC. Now I will draw an arc right side of line BC and then without disturbing the compass, I will draw the second arc on the right side of the line BC. 
Now I will join these point of intersection of these arcs. This is the perpendicular bisector of line BC. Now please read this question again and our CSA S is in the playground. At that CSA is 55 meter from A and it is equidistant from B and C. CSA is on this line and it is also on this locus as well. So these two loci intersect at this point and it can also intersect somewhere outside outside of this triangle but in the question it is written there CSA is in the playground and the shape of the playground is triangle so CSA is inside the triangle so CSA will be here on this point where the both circle and this perpendicular bisector intersect each other so CSA will be located over here and from here the CSA will have distance it will be have distance it will have distance 5.5 centimeter from A and from this point it will be equidistant from point C and point B. So in this second part on the same diagram draw the locus which represents all the points inside the triangle it is inside the triangle where which are 55 meter from O. So 55 meter mean according to this scale that is 5.5 centimeter from O. So this is basically a circle we have drawn already this circle and this circle is a locus and this locus is 5.5 centimeter that is 55 meter from point O. And the second one is that it is inside the triangle and it is equidistant from B and C. So equidistant from B and C is perpendicular bisector. So this is the this is perpendicular bisector which is equidistant from B and C and the locus which is inside is this 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 portion of the perpendicular bisector. In the third part may mark clearly on your diagram the position of the CSA. The position of CSA is in a such a way that it will be 5.5 centimeter from A that is on the circle and it is also on on line line bisector which is in and that is and that should be inside the triangle so so these two locus meet each other they intersect each other so the CSA will be over here in the last part we have to measure the length BS and find the distance of the CSA from B so the length BS is 5 centimeter so the length BS is 5 centimeter and according to the scale it is 50 meter.